Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. Hi, folks. Brian Anderson here alongside two fantastic analysts, Grant Hill and Brent Berry at the table, and our reporter, Allie LaForce. It's the Phoenix Suns taking on the Washington Wizards. It'll be the Wizards off the tip. All right, now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Wall, the pass to Hayes. Here's Arenas from outside the arc. They get the rebound. Lays it up and banks it in. This is how you begin a game. Set the tone right from the jump. Ah, take a nice deep breath. You score on that first possession. Gets the game started the right way. Davis drives in. That one doesn't drop. And Washington the other way now. Here's Arenas. Puts it up from 15. And he nails the jumper. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. I don't think he sees any kind of defense when he's at that range. It doesn't matter who's guarding. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Wall, the pass to Beal. Back to Wall. Here's Arenas. Checked by Davis. Arenas, shot is off. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. Pass to Davis. Down low. Here's Nash. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. The defensive effort was lacking a bit. But hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Here's Arenas. Basket's good. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows that. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Now, here's Davis. From 13, it's Hayes with the rebound. And Washington with possession. Here's Beal. No luck on that one. Excellent D there from Davis. He can't get that one to fall. And the Wizards going the other way now. Pass to Arenas. To the left wing. Here's Hayes. Phoenix grabs the miss. Well, the defense was right up on him, so electing to go for the fadeaway there to create some room. Well, that makes sense. Here's Nash. Here's Chambers. Shot clock at six. Three-pointer. Nash misses. The Wizards for the lead. And they're pushing it up. And it's rejected. And they get it back. Beal. That one's good. His position might be shooting guard, but Beal has no problems taking it inside. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. 13 feet out. That one goes in. Oh, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Pass to Arenas. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Rebounded by Marion. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the in one, and this time... They're not backing off. Where's the rim protection? That's just too easy for him. Here's Arenas. Nails it from beyond the arc. He's got seven. Not just the accuracy in the quarter. It's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Davis can't hit. And his touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Wall. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Not many guys can score on the move like Wall. A true slasher. Gets inside with ease and has a bunch of ways to finish. Now here's Davis. Pass to Nash. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Man, good whistle there. At the line for the Suns. Steve Nash.
taking two shots. And he drops the first. He's perfect from the line this time. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. Here's Arenas. Seven points in the game. And he dunks it down. And <laughs> sends it home with some passion. I think he's rubbing it in a little bit here. Hanging up there like that. And he lobs it up top. <laughs> you could just see how in sync they were there. That's what it takes to pull that off. And Washington with possession. It's a three-point game. Pass to Arenas. No good from outside. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Oh, Beal picks his pocket. In transition, here they come. And being that wall is a point guard, wow. it's his responsibility to facilitate. Just a terrific dime right there. Here's Chambers. He's defended by Hayes. Here's Chambers. Pass to Stoudemire. Takes one from 10 feet, and the shot's off. One for two in this one. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession, if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Here's Davis. Money on the 19-footer. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. Pass to Wall. Now Beal lets go with a three. And so far in this one, two for four. Yeah, Beal is a real volume three-point shooter. The defense cannot afford to let him get hot from the arc. Left side, Davis. Elbow shot. And Arenas pulls it down. Not his best night and not the team's best night. Sometimes it just goes that way. Up again. Controls the rebound and the putback. Already six of their points coming off second chances. Pretty impressive. Outside Davis. Washington with a rebound. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Blocked! Here's Nash. He's got six. Pass to Chambers. That's in there! Davis, Davis with the assist! This goes well, if you're giving up that Walter much height, Davis. the only thing that you can do as a defender is to foul him. To the inside. And he takes the feet in stride and slams it home. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. High post Davis. And it's good. Walter Two points. Davis. Davis has got six. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. From 15 feet away. Wall no good. The Suns trailing. Here's Chambers. Up top Davis. Hounded by Beal. Davis misses. Here's Arenas. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. He's got 11. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Here's Nash. Throws it up high. Lays it in off the pretty lob. Oh, what a pass. Those two read each other really well. Looks like a play they've definitely run in practice. Beal to pass to Wall. Inside. And Beal with the basket on the assist by Hayes. Yeah, 
they've done quality work on the offensive glass. Here's Nash. He's got six. Outside Davis. Here's Marion. Hounded by Beal. Here's Davis. And Davis slams it home. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Outside Davis. Pass to Marion. Back to Davis. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Davis has got 10 points. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Here's Arenas. And another basket for Washington. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Outside Davis. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the first quarter. Two minutes. To the middle. And Davis slams it home. And he brings this game a little closer using a huge one-hand slam. That's a great way to get your team back into it. Here's Arenas. They get it again. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Pass to Chambers. Here's Marion. Outside Davis. Blocked! Second chance shot. We've got 108 left in the opening quarter. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Pass to Nash. Here's Chambers. Here's Nash. Six points for him. Six on the shot clock. Davis. Oh, that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Both teams will make substitutions. The Wizards with a lead. Here's Monroe. Pass to Chenier. 34 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Good. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. And Phoenix has possession. Outside Johnson. Here's Chambers. Right side Johnson. Outside Johnson. The Suns need to get off a shot. And the Suns miss again. Ball stolen from deep three-point range. And so it's Washington ending the quarter up 10. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. We'll be back in a moment. Second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And what do you think about how the Wizards are doing here? Well, it's pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Working the offensive glass that sometimes comes from predictable shots from your offense, and they've been opportunistic here. Phoenix with the ball. Trailing by 10. Here's Stoudemire. Pass to Johnson. Clock at four. From behind the arc. The shot by Johnson, no good. 
And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. On the court right now for the Suns. Here's Monroe, covered by Johnson. Pass to Monroe. Shoots over Johnson. Oh, and Johnson with a block. To the left side wing. And we played through the first minute here in the second. Harley with the bucket. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost him three. Into the lane. Second shot opportunity, and it's good on the layup. Ten points for him. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Johnson against Hayes. Johnson passes to Johnson. Here's Marley. Perfect night so far. Damn, two for two. It would take some very special defense to stop him once he gets that close to the bucket. And they weren't special that time. Here's Monroe. How quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. I credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. The Suns trailing. Outside Johnson. The 15-footer. The shot comes out. And Washington the other way now. Pass to Monroe. Now here's Hayes. Butler passes to Hayes. And he lays it up and in. And it's an 11-point Washington lead. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. It's Johnson with a drive. The shot's good. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Quarter number two in around three minutes gone by. Monroe with a bucket. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Here's Chambers. Pass to Johnson. They double him with Butler. Back to Johnson. Six to shoot. No luck on that one. And Washington the other way now. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And here's Butler. And he's going for the oop here. Got a hand on it. And they'll keep possession. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. That's a jump ball. And it's the Suns with the ball. Chenier. And the layup is good off the glass. He's got six. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Outside Johnson. Clock at six. It as the shot Johnson. clock ticks down. Johnson's gotten four this quarter. Woo, just timeout, selling timeout, the defense timeout. on the pump face. Washington now a timeout, timeout called by Washington. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out.
Booker. He's checked in for the Suns. Here's Jameson. To the paint. Rebounded by Johnson. Booker for three. And the Suns get another three. Well, if Booker gets that kind of room out there, he's got the green light. He's had it since he came in the league. Pass to Jamison. Here's Malone. Here's Monroe. Fires it. A nice shot by Jamison. And Washington leads by 10. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Here's Marley. He's got five. Johnson with it. Sweet little floater. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Here's Monroe. Down to five on the shot clock. The three ball. It's hauled in by the Suns. It's a three on three fast break. Oh, got a piece of it. Here's Jamison. Pass to Chenier. Here's Jamison. Here's Malone. Fires for three. The shot by Jamison, no good. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Booker for three. Offensive rebound. Tipped. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Over to the left wing. Suns foul. Kevin Johnson. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Suns substitution. Here's Weber. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Beal. Here's Jamison. Five to shoot. Now here's Beal. There's the triple. And they'll get another chance. And Malone gets it to go. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. And here's Booker. Knocked loose. Over Beal. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Booker's gone. One for three from the field here. Out to the right wing. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And now a 12-point wizard lead. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. To the wing on the left. Launches it. Drills it from deep. Devin Booker. Booker's got Three six in the quarter. Yeah, this story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Pass to Beal. Second chance effort. And he makes it on the layup. Beal's got nine. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game is going. Now Booker, pounded by Beal. Booker against Beal. Here's Scott. Fast break now for the Wizards. And then Beal with the dunk. You love the energy Beal has. I mean, he's racing up the floor to convert on the fast break. 
Here's Scott. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Here's Booker. No good there. And Washington the other way now. Driving in. Two shots, Number two ten. makes. Off to a good start. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Pass to Booker. Here's Stoudemire. Hounded by Beal. Back to Booker. Sinks his third bucket. Devin He's Booker. three for six now. Devin Booker showing a nice touch around the rim. Booker's gone three of six from the floor. Beal outside. Here's Weber. Hits the front of the rim and out. Here's Van Arsdale. Marion. He's off on the layup. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the second quarter. 157 left in the first half. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Wizards? I'll say one thing. They've cashed in on a lot of second-chance opportunities here in the first half. I also love the early energy that they've played with, pushing the ball every chance they get, exploring quick shots, and showing some serious fast-break offense. And he knocks down the first one. The Wizards making a switch here. Walls checked in. And so he hits both. Here's Nash. He's got six. We've got a minute 48 left to play in the first half. Here's Westfall. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Some defenses are designed to yield the mid-range shot. For him, that's a good look. Outside wall. Pass to Weber. Now Beal. Let's it go. Phoenix grabs the miss. One oh seven left in the second quarter. Westfall, no good. It's a three on three fast break. Pass to Wall. Here's Malone. Back to Wall. Beal with it from the arc. He drops it from range. Beal's got seven now in this quarter. This speaks to the confidence Beal has in himself. Terrific work catching and firing off the catch. Here's Nash. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Shot's blocked! Here's Westfall. Wall covering. To the inside. Stoudemire. The rebound by Malone. And a fast break now for the Wizards. Fires from deep. So as we conclude the first half, a fairly one-sided game. It's the Wizards up by 16. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Bradley Beal putting in some incredible work. He had 14 points, two rebounds, and one assist. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Wizards. The 
work they put in on the glass has been the difference maker. Truly an all hands on deck attack. Give them credit for being the more aggressive team. Rebounding is one of the stats that sometimes gets overlooked, but not tonight. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Phoenix? They're getting abused in the paint defensively. Is that their opponents set the tone? You can't match up physically, you're toast. That's what the scoreboard is reflecting right now. Toast with butter. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. How about Bradley Beal having a dominant impact in this game? Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. Here's Nash. Wall covering. Pass to Davis. Looking to get it going. Soft touch off the glass. Davis. Davis has got 14 points. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. And for Phoenix, the wall, the pass to Hayes. Here's Arenas, and he drives in. Oh, he took the contact and tried to throw it down over the top. Instead, he'll shoot free throws. Yeah, a strong move to the rack draws that foul. At the line for Washington. Hilbert Arena at the line for two. First one falls. And he makes both free throws. And it's Phoenix's ball. It's a 16-point game. With some arc, no good. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Here's Wall, driving inside. Banked it in off the glass. Wall's gotten his second bucket of the game. Assertive play by Wall inside. Pushing hard to find himself a shot. Pass to Davis. Yep, that one goes. Walter Davis. Davis has got 16. Strong performance from him, but he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. Here's Arenas. Back to Wall. Shot clock at six. The offensive rebound. Beal's shot is good. That's a testament to the effort there on the boards. Never willing to give up on the possession. Finding ways to sniff out the ball. Now here's Davis. 16 points for him. No good. A bit long that time. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. That one's good for two. He's got 12. The Suns on offense. Outside Davis. Pass to Marion. Down low. Stolen by Wall. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. 19 footer. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. <laughs> oh, oh my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. 
coach really needs to get his guys fired up in attacking the glass. They're not putting up much of a fight, and it's led to way too many second-chance shots. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Pass to Marion. Here's the floater. Yep, count it. John He's been Marion. accurate tonight. I think the best way for them to succeed is to get him more shots. Sounds simple, but it comes down to execution. And that's going to be a travel. Just their second turnover of the game. Impressive how mistake-free they've been. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Oh, now that was a block. Some much-needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Here's Nash. Six points for him. Outside Davis. Pass to Marion. Back to Davis. Here's Chambers. He's defended by Hayes. Knocked away. Clock is at three. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Come on now, guys. That's flat out insane. Hey, when's the last time you saw a jam like that? His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Now here's Hayes. Six points for him. Outside wall. Now here's Hayes. Not a lot of room. And as it goes out of bounds, Washington able to keep possession. King, he's checked in for Bradley Beal. Six to shoot. Right side wall. A rebound by Stoudemire. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. Here's Marley. Five points in the game. And the shot goes. He's got seven. Even though they're still trailing, he continues to be lights out from the field. What a competitor. Pass to Hayes. Here's Arenas. Hayes inside. Doesn't go for him. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Oh, there's the alley. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Good. Eight well, buckets in 12 well. attempts. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for Washington. Defensively, they've played with a high energy level tonight. And all the steals we've seen, a result of that aggressiveness. Now, the team has also done a really good job of grinding it out on the offensive glass. Those second chance points have added up for them over the course of the game. Here's Marley. He's got seven. Shot clock at two. Here's Nash. Oh, he used the shot fake to create the angle, but he couldn't get it to fall. Here's Arenas. Back to Hayes. And he banks in the layup. Hayes has got eight points. That kind of looks like a predictable shot, one that they want. The defense has to prevent the ball from getting into that sweet spot. Here's Nash. He's got six. Yes, it's good. Steve, that man. play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Here's Arenas. And the basket's good with the assist from Wall. Wall's got five assists in the game. That's three buckets in a row off assists. Here's Nash. Give him eight. Pass to Davis. Here's Chambers. Back to Davis. Let's it go from the wing. Washington with a rebound. 
Now here's Wall. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. Marley, no good. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. It's good on the putback. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Phoenix calls timeout. Oh, my. Their coach does not look happy. And I can guess why. Their interior defense has been struggling. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. That's the Stoudemire. Here's Nash. Wall covering. Here's Nash. Just five on the clock. Here's Kidd. Doesn't go that time. And Washington the other way now. Here's Arenas. He's got 17. Great positioning on the putback. And they're giving up way too many second chance points. Here's Nash. Pass to Davis. Good work there as it goes. Davis has got 18 points. One side has dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. Offensive rebound. And he battles for the ball, gets the second chance bucket. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. To the middle. Here's Stoudemire. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first person. There's no debate there. He's got hammer. Shooting for Phoenix. Amare Stoudemire. At the line for two. First one at the line is good. It's both from the stripe. Here's Wall. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thanks, Brian. Historically, a few franchises have gobbled up most of the NBA championships. A significant number of teams have never won a title, though. However, we're in an interesting time. A lot of those franchises are looking for their first title. They're among the top teams now. And guys, they're hoping to get on the board. Oh, yes. Very interesting, Allie. Thanks for that. Here's Van Arsdale. The Wizards making their last shot. Can't cash it in from close range. Here's Arenas. He's got 17. Ball with it. Pass to Jamison. Six on the shot clock. Shoots from 14. And Washington again with the bucket. He means business. Unlikely to be a comeback on his watch. Well, he's grabbed a tee and a blanket because he's putting this one to bed. Now here's Johnson. And down it goes. Dennis Two points. Johnson. Johnson's got six. It doesn't get any easier than that. The defense has to play better. Pass to Arenas. Here's King. Inside. Here's Chambers. Six points for him. Everyone loves the alley you play, B.A. Yep, one of the prettiest in basketball. And the Wizards with possession here. 
Two minutes. Two Back to Wall. Pulls up. Quarter. High post. He squares up and sinks it. Wall's gotten four this quarter. Nice job breaking down the defense. Wall takes these mid-range J's when the D gives him the chance. To the right side. That's tipped. A minute 37 left in the third quarter of the game. Nice touch on both ends of that alley-oop. Hey, when he let go of the pass, I had no idea what he was going for. Ball against Johnson. Pass to Stoudemire. Back to Johnson. He takes it in. And Wall pulls it down. Wall's got four rebounds now. Steps back and shoots. And it's Washington with another. You know, I think this guy just loves the game of basketball. The preparation, the interaction with his teammates. He has fun out there on the floor. Here's Kidd. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And the shot goes Jason in. Did. There's 45 seconds left in the third. Wall against Johnson. Here's Arenas. Three-pointer, no good. The perimeter game has failed him thus far. Hit one from range in the first half, but nothing since. Stoudemire. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. At the line for the Suns, Amare Stoudemire. Shooting one. Here's Wall. Give him eight points now. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Malone. Who poked away. Here's Monroe. Wall with it. Covered by Johnson. Just five to shoot. Deal outside. From deep. He can't hit that time. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-ups, so maybe just a step too far. And so it's the Washington Wizards with plenty of breathing room, 23 points to end the quarter. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Pass to Monroe. Now here's Beal. Kept alive. Here's Malone. And the layup is good. And there he is. I mean, attacking the boards, converting off the misses. I mean, trying to do everything he can to secure this W. I just don't see how you climb back into the game when you're allowing plays like that to happen. Extra work on the offensive Suns. glass. That's on the floor ball. for Phoenix. Suns substitution. Here's Scott. Pass to Marion. Here's Van Arsdale. Butler covering. And it's Van Arsdale missing. And Washington with possession. Here's Weber. Out left to the wing. Here's Monroe. Four on the clock. 
from deep three-point range. Scott with a rebound. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. And it's in there. Charlie wow, Scott. he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. Pass to Monroe. Here's Weber. Here's Malone. Back to Butler. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. Fade away. The Suns clear it. Let's it go from deep. Shots good by Westfall. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Pass to Monroe. Butler on the wing. And another miss by Washington. And it's Phoenix's ball. A great fourth quarter. Just give it up two points. Jake Shot Van is good Arsdale. by Van Arsdale. Three point Their three defense ball. has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Here's Monroe. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Rebounded by Marion. Here's Scott. Pass to Marion. Weber pulls it in. And at this point, they're loving this big lead. Absolutely. And they haven't really faced a lot of resistance. And it's Phoenix's ball. They've gone on an 8-0 run. Here's Westfall. There's the three. Another three ball for Phoenix. Westfall. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Washington calls timeout. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the tie? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Both teams making some changes here. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Over the break, I listened in on what the head coach for the Wizards was getting across in the huddle. He spoke about their approach going forward. He believes that this is a mental battle. He told his players how we think about each possession will determine the outcome. Let's stay locked in. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. You can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Pass to Marion. Here's Westfall. And he lobs it up to the rim. And out of bounds. It'll be Washington's ball. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. Tom Chamber. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Here's Monroe. It's hauled in by Nash. Here's the second effort and another shot. Monroe with a bucket. And Washington leads by 18. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Here's Stoudemire. Pass to Marion. Six to shoot. Launches a three. Rebound Washington. Here's Monroe to the paint. And that one is stuffed right through. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. And I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Outside Davis. A little mid-range shot is up. That one off the back iron and out. Looking to end this cold spell. Pass to Hayes. Davis on the double team. Hayes misses. Here's Chambers. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. At 
the line for the Suns. Tom Chambers. One shot. Here's Monroe. Here's Arenas. Hits the jump hook. 21 points in the game. He's pouring it on at a nice clip, and the rest of the team is stepping up as well. Now here's Davis. to Marion. Clock at six. Over Hayes. Marion misses. Butler on the wing. Checked by Davis. Outside Butler. The shot. Here's Arenas. The shot won't fall. Excellent D there from Davis. Here's Nash. Rebound by the Wizards. Hayes has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Arenas. Checked by Davis. Outside Butler. Drives to the hoop. Count that one. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. That's the Stoudemire. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Suns. Amari Stoudemire. Two shots. First one falls for him. Beal, he's checked in for Washington. Both good from the line that time. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. Here's Monroe. Arenas with the bucket. Give him 23. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. Davis down low. That one falls. Say what you will about the value of the three-pointer, but those close-in looks are always plan A. Every trip down, get to the paint, get deep, score. And they recover it. With that offensive board, they're likely to have the last possession here. Washington foul. Elvin Hayes. That's his first. The Wizards foul. making a switch here. Second Ball's checked foul. in. Now into the lineup for your Wizards. John Wall. And here's Davis. Goes up at the elbow. Rebound Washington. Hayes has got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. He's just an aggressive finisher there inside. Hey, when you got bounce like that, you feel like you can take on anybody. Here's Nash. Pass to Chambers. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. That'll belong to John Wall. Shooting for Phoenix. Steve Nash. At the line for two.
First free throw is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. They're enjoying a sizable lead. And what I like, B.A., they haven't stopped pressing the issue. Now Wall. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. Here's Nash. And a nice finish on the layup. And Washington with possession. Beal outside. And it's all from three-point range. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Nash. Davis with it. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. Beal outside. And again, Washington, no good. Well, he got off to a terrific start from the perimeter, but in the second half, he can't seem to build on that early success. And the basket by Stoudemire. Maybe the halftime break was good for him. Allowed him to step back, calm himself down, get himself in the right frame of mind, and now shots are falling. Now here's Wall. The law. Very well done. Now that's a textbook alley-oop. I thought he'd go for the slam, but that worked. Here's Nash. Wall covering. Pass to Davis. Shot clock at six. Looking to get back on track. And Wall pulls it down. He's getting good looks on the floor, but he simply cannot bury anything right now. He's got to stay confident, though, because everyone knows he can hit those shots. They get it back. Hayes. That's good. That's now his seventh made field goal in 15 tries. They've been battling all night. Now they're on the brink of putting this game away. No, great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort from the squad. Here's Marion. Pulls up. That shot off the mark. 127 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Arenas. And he makes it. He's got 25. Ooh, an aggressive move. Takes it strong, and there's no help defensively. Here's Nash. To the middle. Here's Chambers. And there's the rejection. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. Substitution for the Suns. Here's Westfall. Six on the shot clock. Another shot. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Chenier. Pass to Arenas. Pulls up on the wing. And it's Washington with another. You gotta give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Here's Scott. Here's Stoudemire. Can they get it? Not on target. Four for nine in this one. And we've got 28 seconds left in the game. Here's Chenier. Here's Arenas. What a terrific move that is. Their offense has been unstoppable. Just firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. 
Here's Booker. Uses the glass Devin on the layup. Well, finishes like that are pretty impressive from Devin Booker, who we know is a great outside shooter. So we see the Wizards taking the W here. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight, and the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you later.